Ryan Client has updated to Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.20.60. As you can see, we're on their official website over here, Horion.download. And to download this for the latest version of Minecraft, you can click on this green download button over here. Their official website will be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you if you could join that. Anyways, we can click on download over here to download it. However, do keep in mind that you don't actually need to re-download it if you already have it on your device. So here we are in Mario Downloads, and the great thing about Horizon is the fact that you don't actually need an injector as it is one itself. So you can double click on this that we just downloaded to open it, just like so, and then you can just simply click on the inject button. Now as you can see for 1.20.60, it has been injected. I did just want to say, if you appreciate me showing you this, and my consistency as well, then make sure you subscribe, because the next time a Minecraft update comes out, I'll be sure to cover Horizon again. Great! Now I'll quickly head into Minecraft, and briefly show you how to use this. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and I did just want to say that if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to use Horizon, then I do have that, and I'll link that down in the description below, and it'll explain everything in detail to you. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to get you started. So you're going to spawn in looking something like this, bunch of things in every corner of the screen. To open up the hack menu, you want to press on the insert key, which for me doesn't work because I've actually rebound it. If the insert key doesn't work for you or you want to change the key bind, open up the chat, type in dot bind just like that, then click GUI like so, and then on any key. For me, it's going to be F. Now, as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is F, which means that every time I click on F, the menu opens. Great. So this is the menu of all the utilities that Ryan Client has. We can move these around if we wish to do so. You can hover above each of these and you'll get a brief description in the bottom left. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. Now, as you can see, there are actually a bunch of them that are automatically enabled. And those are a bunch of the things that are in my screen right now. So if you want to turn off all this clutter on your screen, you can go into the menu and then go to the GUI where you'll see all the things that are automatically enabled. If we turn off the array list, it'll turn off the thing in the top left over there. If you turn off the HUD, it's going to turn off the thing in the bottom left. If you turn off the watermark, it's going to turn off the thing in the bottom right. And if you turn off the tab GUI, it's going to turn off the thing in the top left. Now, as you can see, my screen is empty and I don't have any more clutter, yet I can still open up the menu and grab the click GUI there. If you want to exit the click GUI, you can press once again on your keybind, or you can just go like that to close the click GUI. Now, right over here, there are actually some other things too. As you'll see, a lot of these utilities actually have a plus next to them which is great, so every time you right click on one of these things with a plus, it'll actually expand and give you some more custom customization options. Some of them will have more than others, but these are great for a bunch of different utilities. Also, I did just show you how to do this click GUI command, and if you type in dot help, you'll find all the other commands that Horizon has. Sadly, to answer all your questions already, these still don't work on servers or realms, and probably never will anymore. If you want a detailed explanation video as to why that is, and why they'll never work on servers and realms, well, then I will link that down in the description for you. Anyways, for right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.